Hi, this is Tim Schrock. I want to show you today a quick tip on how to make lines and arcs tangent to one another. Let's get started. So if you find these videos helpful and informative and educational, I would appreciate the encouragement. Always hit the like button down there, subscribe, but would you also consider checking out my Patreon page? Over there you can support me for as little as two, five bucks a month, uh, the price of a cup of coffee. That helps encourage me to keep going, knows that you find it valuable. And I would like to um, add more value to these videos and to videos that are specifically geared toward my Patreon subscribers. Check it out at patreon.com slash designbuildsolutions. Thank you for your consideration. Now, let's get into the tip for today. I want to show you something I just learned here last week. Um, let's set this up with a line like so. This is typically how I would create an arc and the, one of two ways I could do it like this or on the left or on the right and I'll show you how that works. So we have this angle right and I'm going to make use this little child tool down here change line to arc. It also works in the in the uh, opposite order, change an arc to a line. And as you can see, that creates an arc. I'm going to kind of approximate what that arc radius might be by grabbing this uh, triangle shape, and I can change the arc of, change the radius of that arc, right? So I'm at this point, I'm just eyeballing it. I don't know for certain that that's tangent to this, um, to these two lines. Over here on the right, I could take this and hit the F for fillet key on my keyboard and pull it down. And that would be tangent to it. I'm going to unclick that and undo. I could also um, click this fillet key. Where is There we go. Uh, fillet lines. And uh, when you click on that, I could set the fillet radius. So let's say I wanted a, a three inch radius. There you go. There's a three inch radius. Let's let's fill it the lines with a larger fillet. Let's say a 30 inch radius. So I selected the top line, first of all, and I set the 30 inch radius. And now I'm going to fill it between that line. This top line was selected. Now I'm going to fill it to this line. It's saying, hey, I must join the two lines together in order to provide a fillet because there already was there wasn't actually um, the two lines weren't actually connected so it joined them together now now I'm gonna fill it it had this right one selected now I'm gonna fill it to the top one okay so now I know that arc is a 30 inch um, radius that is exactly tangential to these lines um, you might be asking yourself why are we talking about lines and arcs and fillets um, this actually has a lot of application to uh, many, thing, many things that we can arc um, walls, uh, driveways, stairs, um, uh, sidewalks, anything that you can arc. Uh, this has, an, and besides CAD, you can, um, you can uh, do this. So on this side, on the left side, I'm going to use this tool. I've never really used this tool before, and we'll highlight it here in the editing. Make arc tangent, right down here. If you right click on the, um, I have to double right click on the um, 
to pull up my menu because of my properties. It is this one, this option right here, make arc tangent. It pops up and says, what do you want the radius of this arc to be, to be a tangent arc? Now it's gonna be tangent between the two lines that it's connected to, right? So let's say 30 inches. Interestingly, I could put now this line, I'm going to drop this line, point to point move, right on top of, let's undo. Right on top of the right one now, and they are exactly the same uh, radius, right? And they're exactly tangential to each other. If I wanted to change that arc, I still know it's tangential. I just changed the center of it. <clears throat> Let's do a different line orientation. Uh, oh, I have to make it an arc first, don't I? that an arc, make it tangent, 30 inches. Now it's tangent between the two, um, two lines that it's connected to. I could do the same with a wall. If I know these are the angles of the two adjacent walls here, I can make this an arc and make that one tangential. 200. Now it's going to, what do we want to measure that radius to? I want to measure it to the outer main layer for this example. And now I know exactly that those, this wall is tangential to the other walls. Let's do this with a um, sidewalk. That drew walls. Why didn't? It? Oh, I have to. Yeah, I have to create a um, perimeter to put a sidewalk on. There we go. Sidewalk, straight sidewalk. So you see, this actually has many applications here. Now, when it pulls this up, it's actually telling you what the radius of the arc is currently. I. I pretty sure. Let's double check that. The radius is 108 and 15 sixteenths currently and if I were to leave it at 108 and 15 sixteenths it would adjust the arc and to the right um, geometry so that it were so that it was uh, tangent to the legs that it's attached to. All right, so that's a cool little trick that I uh, found last week. Thought I'd share with you this make arc tangent uh, so we're not guessing so much and um, helped me with a little project I was doing. I thought I'd pass it on to you. Thanks so much for watching these Tech Tip Tuesday videos so faithfully. Thanks for subscribing. If you found this interesting, please click that like button. Hit the subscribe. Click the notification bell so that you get notified each week as I upload these videos. And again, a shameless plug for my Patreon page, patreon.com slash design build solutions. Have a wonderful week.